Dead End Sports 365, the place where sports opinions collide. I'm your man, Manny Brown. What's going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend, especially tonight, or by the time y'all see this video yesterday, is proof why it is so important to have a franchise quarterback. It is the most important position in all of sports. I'm not breaking any news to y'all. Y'all already know. If you've watched football for more than five minutes, you know. When you have a quarterback, you are living a charmed life. And I'm not just saying any quarterback. I'm not saying your Dak Prescott or your Kirk Cousins of the world. I'm talking about when you have a true generational talent at that position. A true superstar, franchise-altering quarterback. You are living a charm life. The sky's the limit. That's why you see every team, every single year in the lead up to the draft, go basically fall all over themselves to try to draft a quarterback, to try to figure out, to try to get that position right. Because you know that if you strike gold on that position, you're set. Think about it. The Bills and the Chiefs, right? For the next 15 years, barring injury, you know, dysfunction, you know, anything like that. Those other, there's other circumstances that happen to tend to occur sometimes when you're talking about teams and whatnot. But barring all that, the Chiefs and the Bills are set for the next 15 years. They have a chance to compete for a championship each and every year for at least a decade plus. I mean, it's just crazy, man. And and the Bills and the Chiefs are the perfect encapsulation of that. I mean, that game on Sunday night was incredible. It was incredible. You saw two quarterbacks, two, I don't even want to say young quarterbacks, two superstar quarterbacks. And listen, I have not always been the biggest Josh Allen fan. You know, I'll be the first to tell you, I have not heaped praise on Josh Allen. Part of it because he's a Bill and I'm a Jets fan. Part of it because I've seen some questionable throws and some questionable plays. And at times I think he could still make some boneheaded decisions, but yo, I won't say anything disrespectful about that kid ever again. That kid played his ass off on the road, playing against Mahomes in that building. And he matched Mahomes throw for throw, play for play. Yo, that dude is it. That dude is it. And Mahomes, I mean, what more can we say about the guy? I mean, what more can we say about Patrick Mahomes that hasn't been said? I mean, the dude is a beast, man. The dude is a the dude is a complete and utter beast. Like, I don't know what else to say it, you know. Like, I don't know what other adjective to throw out there. The man is incredible. I mean, some of the throws, some of the plays, I mean, 13 seconds left to make those two throws, to get his team in position to hit a field goal. I, it, it's just incredible. I mean, I don't know what else you can say. I'll let the experts break it down. The guy is incredible. And Josh Allen, shout out to him, man. I know it's a, I know it's a heartbreaking loss for the Bills. And if I'm a Bills fan, I'm disgusted on Monday morning. But you can at least take solace that you have that position filled for the next 15 years. You have a franchise quarterback. And I'm telling y'all, man, if you if you are one of the lucky 10 to 12 franchises that have that that at least have an answer at that position, and I'm being generous with that number too, by the way. If you have an answer at that position, you're set. You're living a charmed life because you know every year, at the very least, at the bare minimum, you have an opportunity to compete for a championship, a, a, a playoff spot at the bare minimum. So this weekend is the perfect encapsulation. Look at the Bengals. What were the Bengals before Joe Burrow? An also-ran, inept franchise. Now they're one win away from the Super Bowl. Chiefs. What were the Chiefs? Before Patrick Mahomes, they were a perennial playoff disappointment. They had good teams, but they could never get over the hump. The Bills, the Bills were a dumpster fire for 25 years or so before Josh Allen. Now look at them. Could have easily played an AFC Championship game for the second year in a row. Who knows, maybe even gotten to a Super Bowl. It's amazing, man. It's the most important position in all the sports. It's the most important position in all the sports. So don't let anybody tell you different. Don't let anybody debate you. This is the reason why these quarterbacks make all the money. This is why they take up half the cap. This is why they move the needle. This is why they, they you know, all the narratives, everything is framed, all the rules, everything goes to protect the quarterback. This is why. 
because they are the most they are they are the most important position in all sports, at least American sports. It just is. If you only other thing, only other position that can maybe compare compare you could compare to the quarterback is maybe a goalie in hockey, a, a stud pitcher in baseball. Like that, those are the only two that I can think of positions. The NBA, obviously, if you have that transcendent talent, you also are in that in that in that discussion, right? But as far as positions, the quarterback is is king, man. There's no other position in sports that that just moves a needle like that, and this is why. And don't let anybody tell you different. So you, you'll see it this April. You'll see teams. I know that the draft isn't predicted to have any, you know, quote unquote highly touted quarterback prospects. Forget that. You, you'll see teams fall in love with guys. You'll see guys rise up the boards because everybody, at least if at least the the 20-something odd other teams that are looking for quarterbacks. They're all looking for that next guy. They're all looking for their potential next Josh Allen or their next potential Joe Burrow or their next potential Patrick Mahomes or Herbert. This is why, man. So this weekend again proves the quarterback is king. When you got one and you got a great one, even the, even the, even the, even the Packers, you know, I know we've been making jokes about Aaron Rodgers, but yo, Packers got a chance, you know, every year. Now, we'll see about next year and all the Aaron Rodgers stuff, but even the Packers, year in and year out, as long as they got that guy playing the, that, playing that quarterback and he's upright and he's into it, they got a shot. So the quarterback, man, the quarterback is king. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Before I go, make sure you like and subscribe this video. Also, go check out all of the content we got coming your way. Dead End Sports 365. A new video each and every day, 365 days. We're doing it, folks. We're doing it. Go check it out. Go like us. Go subscribe. Go like, Go leave a com. Go leave the comments. Go give a review on on iTunes. All of that, man. It helps the show. It helps the it helps the channel. It helps the network grow. Make sure you go check out my podcast, Any Given Sunday. My YouTube page, Any Given Sunday podcast on YouTube. We're on a little bit of a hiatus, but we'll be back. And uh, yeah, man. Continue to support and, and continue to like and, and continue to uh, support what we do. I'm Manny Brown. We're out of here. Peace.